this one. We've almost played this game for 24 hours. We've played for more than that. Last time on La Mulana... <sighs> we, di we did a lot of map stuff where I was color coding Moonlight Temple. Color coding Graveyard of the Giants. Oh, last time on La Mulana we got this software so that I can warp between the Mirror Worlds places, which was a much needed upgrade. Legendary boss kill. Yeah, we killed, um... Was that last stream or two streams ago? Pazuzu! Whee! And we got double jump? It's all, like, blurring together. Mirror worlds, yeah. So I said I was gonna go back to places where... I needed to use the double jump. And, uh... Other than that, I don't know. Let's go hang out here for a bit. I think... Hang on one second. My neighbor is still on the phone. I can hear it. It's distracting. I can't I can't use my puzzle brain. It's so loud. Oh, we have the chain whip now, which was a huge upgrade so that I can kill enemies a lot faster. Um We also got to the shop in Twin Labyrinths. We bought the bracelet which allows me to break pots quicker. And there's a puzzle up in the Twin Labyrinths that I haven't been able to solve. It's a block puzzle. Name all levels of ancient Babylonian government and whether it'll help you at, the some, at some point in this game. I don't think so. I don't think it'll help. Can you hear it, Shaggy? I thought for sure the mic would block it out. I'm about to go out there and say, excuse me. Oh, okay. <laughs> excuse me, can you please? Continue this somewhere else. No, it's all right. You're good There's some there's some secret about this area that I don't understand yet. Oh, I wonder if we can Get to the waterfall on the surface now. This room, I think, has a secret. But I don't know. But I don't know. I'm really sorry, but the internet isn't bad at you right now. I'm joining the Lurk crew. Gotta focus on painting. Good luck painting. Enjoy. Thanks, Kit. I'm just rambling. I need to find a sense of direction. I feel like there's a... a diagram somewhere of... which direction to point these blocks or something. I don't know. This was the boss fight room. This was the chain whip room. I can't break this. I can push it. And there's a whole other room at the bottom of this chamber. Oh, I suppose I should pull up my Inferno map instead of the Moonlight map. This is the Inferno map. In the bottom of the Pit of Fire that I've never been to. Pit of fire. And this room has blocks too, and I don't know why. It's gotta be something, right? For all its silliness, I do like the bracelet. 
It's helpful. Nope. Got hit midair. I don't think there's anything down here. I really wish there was. Pretty Patrick, hi, welcome in. We're playing some La Mulana. This is day 14. We're deep into the lore. Um, but I'm struggling to decide where I want to go next. I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. Hmm. I'm looking at my other maps. We could go back to Chamber of Extinction. I haven't been there in a while. But I don't really know why I would go back there. Oh, let's go see. No, 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 no. Forget everything. We're gonna go see Mulbrook. Go to a place with good music. Oh wait, that's everywhere, yeah. You can't lose if you're if you're chasing the music. Oh, she's asleep. Okay, Jen. <laughs> it's fine. This is where I wanted to go. Can we go see A10 yet? No. Oh, there's a shop nearby. It made the little noise. I've never gotten that before. We have 10 weights. Oh. Ding ding. Is there an eyeball in here? Yes, but not the kind that electrocutes me. What a thing to say. There we go. Why is this block suspicious? I feel like there's no way I'm gonna get the shop unless I get that wall seal, and I don't have that one. The porcupine walk is so mad, yeah. What happens if I plunder the red light now that I've defeated... Well, I've defeated a giant. Power of the Twins. That doesn't do anything. What about... this? <laughs> I don't know. There's something in this room I haven't figured out. Clearly. Holy fish. Wait, what about a Maiden of Purity? Polished. Huh. We already got it. We've had this scale sphere for a while. Solved all the puzzles. I don't think I've solved all the puzzles. No. What does this say? Meditate under Wedget. Do nothing more than pray. I don't know how to meditate in this game. Woman shall be with child when within the man. I don't know what that means! I feel like we have too many new things to mess around with, and I can't think of one specific place where I need 
double jump. Hi, Jim. Thanks for the hello. How are you? Welcome in. Let's go back over here. I want this treasure. I might need a nudge right off the bat because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what my goal is. Maybe fight- maybe try fighting bosses again? We did that last time. We tried fighting, um, that bird. And I didn't have enough flares. Oh yeah, so I was gonna farm money for more flares to try fighting that boss again. But I'm sure that's not the only thing I have access to right now. We tried this boss too, this mini boss. The goat looking one. Above this room. Poseidon hanging out in here. What's this room called? We don't know. Because I don't have a labyrinth map yet. And I don't really want to do this fight. What happens? I'm also goat looking. What happens if I go back to... um? I don't remember where it is. Where's the other labyrinth entrance? Is it through the mausoleum? Yeah. Maybe we go over there for a second. Just a brief second. I'm kind of like... Poking around to see... If I find anything new... Now that I can double jump. If I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot about this room, you know? I have no idea what's useful progression, but I can think of one place where you've amassed a fair bit to poke around with. Okay. Yeah, I might need that. I'm gonna go check out the labyrinth, but then I might need that. This isn't how I get there. This is to get to the number sky disc. Was I supposed to go one more floor up? Maybe. This is where all the little slime, gator slimes live. <laughs> Why does this say... Is Moon Palace of the Giants the name of this room? Yeah. Cause this is where G hangs out. Oh, this is where the entrance to Endless Corridor is. Okay. I forgot. I like the music in here. I don't like this elevator. We're getting a stretch break reminder, too. Maybe I need to stretch and clear my head. I just want to go look at this really quick. Here we are. This area. Is there anything in here that double jump helps me with? I don't 
think so. Soul survivors of the first child, the hero of the third child captured them, thus obtained the wisdom. And this is a shop. This had the helmet, but we're good. We got the helmet. And then this area starts turning into a never-ending maze. This has the bats. All right. I don't know. For some reason, I thought it was worth it to come back here, but I don't think there's really much here. Beyond the skull lies the entrance to the something. Beyond what skull? What skulls have we seen? Cross of light? Yeah, we've seen a bunch of those. All right, yeah, let's, let's schools. Let's take a quick stretch break because we're at that time anyway. I'm fuzzy on where to go. And then Stowe has a hint for me. That I think I, I'm happy to take. I'm always like so excited to play this game and then we start and I'm like, <laughs> where? Where do I go? <laughs> Thanks, everybody. See you real soon. Welcome back. Just looking, just pondering my maps. We're in Twin Labyrinth. I could go back to Twin Labyrinth, the other section that I don't really know how it connects to here. Um... Or I could go back to the Tower of Ruin. Hi, Cavernous. How are you? Good afternoon. Is the only thing I'm waiting on, I've said this before, the only thing I'm waiting on for Gate of Guidance is, um,. Eden, and that one room with the three lights. Dumpster do donuts, welcome in. Fuzzy hoodie makes me think of Italian ice. I love this hoodie. It's so bright and fun and comfy. We used to call it the popsicle hoodie when I had it in, when I had the human hoodie channel point redemption. <laughs> same old, same old, dodging tornadoes in the south. Stay safe. Good luck. Scary times. Okay, yeah. I'm down for a... an area nudge from Stowe, if you have one. Whatever you were gonna say. Safe word. Italian ice, what cultured people call slush puppies? Well, yeah, there's like shave ice, Italian ice, slushies, snow cones. They're all different things, right? Tornado doesn't look like it's moving, it's moving towards you. Creepy. I feel like fairly recently I went poking around gate of guidance and didn't find anything else I wanted to look at anyways. Um, we could always go back to graveyard. I really need to find another wall seal or like a sigil. That would be ideal. Oh, 
I didn't I clicked out of the game. Let's go poke around the graveyard for a little bit. Just for but a moment. Although this is right next to the moonlight entrance, which is kind of a pain in the butt, but it's fine. Hey, not nice. Unless anyone has anything cool, I'm thinking there might be a reason to think about moonlight. I'm thinking about it. But I don't- I feel like we just went back there at the end of last stream and I couldn't figure out... ...how to... ...see new parts of it. But I can go back. It's frustrating with nudges, too, because, like, every place is a good place, you know? I'm sure there's something I can find in, like, every area. Alright, let's do a quick, uh, cheeky little puddle run. Puddle run! And then we'll go to Moonlight. Unless anyone has any objections. It was either that or trying to think about specific things. Yeah. I object to objecting, thank you. <laughs> we need Petrian fishies. No, they're not- no, nobody's letting me down. I can do it on my own. The the thing with the nudges is expediting playthrough. If I was playing this on my own, I would just be retracing every area as methodically as my brain will allow until I come up with something or like stumble across something. They're letting you down. Oh no. But because I'm streaming it, it's nice to get a nudge every once in a while to like, you know, get a little further. If possible. Oop. So, Moonlight, I also, um, have, let me pull up my digital notes in case I want to do, like, a little search through for specific terms. Moonlight is one of those areas that has a million clues about Eden, a place bathed in moonlight, <sighs> and ladies the name of this area is <laughs> behold sanctuary of lovely women and there's a bunch of notes about like three beautiful women women this waiting in the pit of moonlight stuff like that Hi, Hylian. Welcome in. It's good to see you. How are you? Semi, hello. Welcome in. How are you? How did training go? <sighs> the sound of the ocarina may only be heard with a woman with, by a woman with child. Water will provide the power for the tower to soar the skies. Grind down the pyramid, remove the tip of the watchtower, the wall will crumble, and thou shalt reach the underworld. We did that. A meeting of men and women inside the man, the seed of life is born. Money can't buy the real thing. We did- we got that clue. Demon with a weapon brings forth illusion. The illusion has no end. Here you'll find underworld palace where God who governs death resides. And we fought- Anubis. We 100 percent the heck out of that clue. Alright, what about 
Find the find the source of a phenomenal trap. Beneath the dancing man's feet. These are the Eden clues. Four boxes. Open the four boxes. Seek the four pedestals. Find the source of a phenomenal trap. Stand before the face of the highest rank. Beneath the dancing man's feet. And... Solve the four puzzles. Search out the place, the place they point towards. Within the hands of the four who reside in a place bathed in moonlight. <laughs> Subtitles decided on Denise. Denise the Dancing Man. Can I ask if this is like a... Is it like a brain clue? Like a riddle? Or is it just some place I need to figure out where to go? That's a really dumb question. I don't like that. I'm using a weight to go through here. The source of a phenomenal trap. In a place bathed in moonlight. What's this thing? Should I turn the Nebra's sky disk to make this a sun? Maybe. Is there an eyeball in this room? No. Oh, oh, ow. How do I get to this hallway below? What happens when I fall down here? I think it's like a dead end, right? Yeah. In the hands of the four, there's hands on the murals. I don't think I've ever had to interact with murals before. What's up here? Is there an eyeball? This is the entrance to Eden. Maybe there's something in this room. Oh yeah, this unreadable tablet. up with these spikes if I fall down that's where the um, save point is we'll go up here again cuz Eden is pretty Albeit a little glitchy, it's like there's seams that meet when you walk up here where you can see the black line that runs through the graphics. I don't think this is where I'm supposed to be yet, though. It's underneath here. I don't think I want to fall. Oh, well, we're going to fall anyways. Oh, it's just this. Moonlight is so confusing because... What's the other entrance to the Moonlight Palace? Through the graveyard? Let's go down there to the bottom part again. You, there's like three sections and they don't interconnect, which gets really confusing. I don't want to fall, but the bat had other plans. The bats always have other plans. This area has a lot to... A lot to be desired. Is 
there an eyeball in this room? No. But even if there was, usually I can get away with trying to damage the walls. It's just artifacts that it doesn't like when you try to try to damage them. Actually, hang on. We're going this way. I want to know how to get over there. <coughs> Excuse me. Do we think it has something to do with the fairy? Fairy! Nope, nope, we're gonna die. Thanks, thanks, Esper. Um, I'm a little lost. I thought, I thought we had things to do today, like right off the bat, but I can't remember what my plans were. I also missed the elevator again. Whoopsies. There's no eyeball in that room, but there's no... This is the furthest down that the map goes. Borshi, how's it going? Welcome in. Llama Mama. Oh, here's a place with four hands. Do we think this is a thing? Nope, don't knock me off of the thing, you jerk. And the fairy's gone. The thing up there has four hands and some faces. Does it have dancing feet? What's above this room? The moon gazing pit. Interesting. Started my new job two weeks ago. Oh, congrats. Tired? Yeah. I hope a good kind of tired. Maybe a little of both. Good and bad tired. Hands of the four who reside in a place bathed in moonlight. What, but what does it mean within the hands of the four? Wait, I did a thing. Come back. Come back. Come back. All I had to do was use my hand scanner. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I can't do it again. Stupid bugs. Okay, I did a thing. Was there something that I missed because I fell? I'm guessing no. Safe word, yeah. Hi, at sign. Welcome in. I, I forget to say it quick enough sometimes, but generally you can, like... It, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> I, will, I won't fault anybody for that if I don't say it when I meant to, you know what I mean? We're in- this is- we gotta have something happen here. Four hands. Maybe- oh, there is an eyeball in here, but maybe I can- maybe I can just do a little cheeky destroy of one of these faces. The eyeball doesn't seem to mind. Figured it wasn't spoilery. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate it. 
That was a pretty safe one anyway. No, stop grabbing the wall. I'm trying to use the whip. What about this? This is absolutely gonna shock me. I'm gonna wait to do that until I try the wall on the top. Oh, it didn't shock me either? Weird. Okay, maybe they're not all in one screen. Face of the highest rank in a place bathed in moonlight. Oh, well, rip. There's some faces on that near the pyramid up there. Dancing feet could be the murals by the pyramid too, maybe. You can actually see their feet. over here. I remember this room. There's a couple more hands. Do you want a totally unrelated to puzzles note about an item you got? Um... Yeah, was it something I got? Sure, safe word. Was it something I got and then we didn't do much with it? Is it the shield? I haven't done much with the shield yet. Is it the serpent staff? I haven't done anything with the serpent staff yet except for fight Argus with- and I feel like the chain whip was more helpful than the serpent staff. The Book of the Dead makes Anubis weak and the little one's powerless? Oh, really? The little mini ones. Okay, cool. I didn't notice, thanks. Helpful. Beneath dancing feet, I guess... I would want to try it again from the warp that comes in from... The Sun Temple. Hi, Raffle Iron. Welcome in. Thanks. This is my go-to comfort hoodie. This is like, I don't feel like getting fully into an outfit for stream. I just want to wear pajamas. <laughs> so I'm glad you guys like it. <laughs> Didn't seem like it would affect you much, but in two places the dogs corner you and it takes a little pressure off. Yeah. For sure. Alright, let's go over here. Here's a face. Are you the face of the highest rank? Excuse me. What can you tell me about the face of the highest rank? How come none of these eyeballs are getting me? Oops. Ugh. Soft but fashionable. Shout out to Cosmicordia, who bought the pastel version of this hoodie. And I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And then I found out it came in other colors. I would repurchase this hoodie a hundred times. <laughs> the eyeballs are there to watch you rudely get punted by bats. Yeah. Is this the face of the highest rank? Excuse me. No. Oh my god. Oh, I landed on top of it. <laughs> there is a face that's higher up than that one. I do like this song. But we have to go inside the pyramid for it again, so maybe we will. What's down here again? 
Oh, right. <laughs> Dancing feet. Oh, actually, before I go the other way, I want to go hang out with Anubis again. Well, in this room. Because maybe there's something down here. Yeah, they don't do anything anymore. Nice. Face of the highest rank. Four hands. Dancing feet. What's the fourth one? Don't answer that. I'm gonna look it up. Phenomenal trap. Jiggly, hi, welcome in. Who was it? Is it somebody we know? 100% would have looked this up by now. Not a patient woman. That is okay. <laughs> if I was playing this by myself, I don't know. I don't know if my, my patience would hold true or if I would just look it up. Because it is a luxury. It is very nice to have a chat that is like willing to give cryptic hints. Like, that's a lot. Thank you all who do that. I'm very lucky to have that. I ate your pie. Won't elaborate. Thank you. <laughs> I looked up loads. No shame. Did map every inch. Yeah. Some pork blends. I'm gonna pound into cutlets and then make katsudon with pickled cabbage. Delicious. That sounds so good. I was gonna make a crock pot meal before stream and I forgot. I still can. I can make like a quicker version of it. All right, I'm gonna enter through the sun temple. Oh, interesting. Oh, never mind. I was like, whoa, the sun and the moonlight temple, when I press the down arrow, they're like connected. But if I do the down arrow for Graveyard of the Giants, it also goes back to Temple of the Sun. Maybe because I'm in the Temple of the Sun? I'm reading too much into it. I love how the game puts people in similar situations that are like outside of the game itself. Puzzles aren't areas, but they are places in the progression that players have to go through. It is neat. It's a really cool design. I would like it probably the best if there were a skip boss fights mode, but in all honesty, I complain about the bosses a lot. They haven't been too bad. They're just not, they're not that bad. They're just not like a pleasant boss fighting experience. Like you don't get that joy of learning patterns or quickness in other boss fights. In these, it just feels like a grind, like, okay, wait, wait. Wait, wait, press the button. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> but that's okay. It's alright. I think I was worried when we were first fighting Sakit that I would, like, never be able to beat... Sakit, and so that was the end of the playthrough. I was like, oh man, I really wanted to play more. I actually think it's quicker to fall down here if I'm going inside the pyramid. Whoops. As far as face of the highest rank goes I wonder if there's some logic to some of the um, it was Sonic the Hedgehog Sonic is in this game I wonder if there's some logic to like certain you know Anubis and Isis and Horus being higher rank than other gods and goddesses Okay, this isn't doing anything in here, so that was kind of a bust. Let's go up and over. 
Are you the source of a phenomenal trap? Are you below the dancing feet? What does this say? Uh-huh. Let's go hang out with the philosopher. Are you the face of the highest rank? I just want to break this vase. <laughs> Why won't you let me break the vase? This is the philosopher of death. The other one is the philosopher of wisdom. Where's my pencil? Interesting. You awake yet? No. I can't even... Oh, wait. I can't use a weapon at all. At least in this room, it seems. Which reminds me of the clue we got a long time ago about using a weapon when... within the woman or something like that. What if I just search in my notes for woman? When the waters of the ocean calm... No, that's not what I'm looking for. There's a man, therefore there is a woman. Weapon shall not be used within the woman. The woman shall be with child when within the man. Okay, but how does this help me? Solve the four puzzles. Search out the places they point towards. And we found one place. I have a safe word question that I think I know the answer to, but like... I can do this... I have the ability to solve this now within the Moonlight Temple, right? Like, I don't have to go to another area and do something and then come back to the Moonlight Temple. Okay. What happens if... Uh, this being... Whatever Eden puzzle I'm working on, finding all of the, f the four locations and, like, pinging it with the hand scanner. That's what I'm trying to do. The Eden puzzle. Okay. Yeah, I guess I just said this. Eden can be solved. Cool. Thank you. Can I unequip the hand scanner but not equip the serpent staff? No. That's fine. I don't think I can use it, yeah, anywhere in here. Water will provide the power for the tower to soar the skies. Hey, Zara. Human. We learned that I can't use a weapon in this, inside the moon pyramid. And it's throwing me off. Looking really hard for a moment. Of course, enjoy the lurk. Thank you again. A woman of with child. And I can't break any of these vases. And I can't get up here? How do I get to that staircase? Oh yeah, we've done this. <laughs> Never mind.
I'm just spamming the hand scanner button. And this is one way. But now I can use a weapon. Let's really quickly um, warp to the same place in the same room. Are you the face of the highest rank? Ow. No. TT, how are you? Happy Thursday. I was like, I know I've seen a couple of mods out and about, but I feel like... Oh yeah, here's another part of the Eden puzzle. I feel like not everybody's fully adjusted to the Thursday streams yet. I was talking to Daxon earlier about that and like... We can't watch Star Trek today, probably, because I'm streaming, and then it gets too late to watch it for our European time zone people, vibing and basking in the chill. How was um, Hi-Fi Rush? Did you end up finishing it? Let's go over to this room again. Is this skeleton the dancing feet? <laughs> I'm just guessing at this point. No! Is this a phenomenal trap? <laughs> Find the right day for Picard. Yeah, we will eventually. Finished it. Super fun in the beginning and the end, but the middle really drags for a bit. How- I know you were talking about your playthrough length to, um... And you played hard mode, which is going to be longer, which is impressive. Uh, okay, we're going to go heal. And then I'll get back to it. These hints are super cryptic. Check my app in a few and let you know if you want. Yeah, I'm just curious. Fun, silly, amazing animation. And the character's name is Chai, which I didn't know. Um, I don't know how I missed it. Or you didn't name it that, did you? It's a super cute name. Has anybody else played Hi-Fi Rush? I've heard a lot of good things about it. Seen a, a good bit of playthrough of uh, gameplay. Wymiser, how are you? Welcome in. What's good? <laughs> it's good to see you. Main character is Chai and they're all spoods and spices. Oh, I love that. I've seen bits of it and it looks a delight. Yeah. Alright. Do we go back here or do we go back in through this entrance? Do we have to do stuff? I just keep thinking, do we have to do stuff in other areas to get access? But we, I don't think we do. Oops, I almost got hit by, um, by the eyeball there. Haven't played, but from what I've watched, it looks fun. Okay, let's fall down here. Try not to get hit with fire. Here's Sonic again. They make a lot of meta jokes in the middle of a conversation. Let's not pay attention to how we got all the way over here so quickly and then look at the camera. A lot of fourth wall breaks. Ow. 
Uh, I probably should have bought more weights. This game looks fun. I'm gonna be lurking today because work be crazy, but I bless you with the power of good vibes and bad haikus. Thank you, Wymiser. Good luck with work. The game has been fun but frustrating. I don't know what it means by the face of the highest rank. Oh, I didn't mean to do that! Put the shield so I don't accidentally use a sub weapon like that. Every, every dang square. What am I missing? Making good progress. It feels like I'm a little bit desperate. <sighs> Try buffing every square ten times. Okay. It's just cryptic, but you're there doing things, eliminating things. Yeah, that's that's the idea. I kind of want to go up that elevator again. It is frustrating that you can't, um... Get to all the areas from one spot. Or at least if there is, like, a path that you can open, I haven't opened it. So for me to go back and forth between them all has been a little frustrating. Philosopher's Sigil. Soul, thanks for the hydrate. I appreciate it. Also, Zo, I don't know if I said hi. Um, it's kind of like the thing I drew on this. And it looks like the labyrinth symbol. The twins. Oh, I said Zo. I know I said hi to you, but welcome back, because I know you were lurking. But I don't think I said hi to Zo. And if I did, hi. Hi to everybody. Again. <laughs> Please, if I ever miss greeting you, don't ever be afraid to be like, Hey, I said hi and you missed me. Zo! Exactly. <laughs> No worries, no worries at all. I'm just stumbling about. We're gonna climb this, I guess. I wanna go... I wanna go... Oh, I didn't mean to fall. No!
Is this the source of a phenomenal trap? I wanted to go to the entrance by the um, labyrinth. I still can. I think if I just do this, it's right back to that room. La Meza been following all the precepts? <laughs> I don't know. What's a precept? Is this the source of a phenomenal trap? This trap door? I don't know, but I'm gonna run out of weights. Are you the face of the highest rank? No. Is there... I would have noticed if I had done some of these things before, right? Like, there isn't one that I've already done and gotten that same white circle and then forgotten about. I guess safe word, you can answer that? I don't think I've seen that white circle that happened in between the four hands. I don't think I've ever seen that before. You have definitely not done the others. Okay. I would have noticed it. That's what I that's what I thought. In a game where like every little detail is important, I would hate to do something like that and then just not and just miss it. But I don't know. I'm sure it happens. No shame. Not gonna shame anybody. It's one of the rules of La Mulana. Wait. Secret Zelfa eyes and can see where you've been. Did this, this appeared because I did that maybe. Cause this wasn't here before. Oh, and that's wrong. Well. Maybe it's just open the four chests. There is, there's not five chests. No, there are five chests here. You're supposed to open them in the order of, I need to die so I can death warp to my quick save. You're supposed to open them in the order of, where's my Eden notes? Starting with the one closest. Be polite, yeah. You can warp to your quick save by reset. I'm gonna reset, thank you. We haven't done much of this type of thing yet, but I know that it exists where you get irre irreversible stuff. That's much quicker than death warping. Well, I don't know, death warping. I'm pretty good at taking damage from enemies. Was this my quick save? Yeah, because I came back here to go, okay, yeah. Okay, so now I need to draw a diagram. Continue as quick save. I think this is fine. I think I worked back to here to go into the entrance of moonlight through the sun pyramid. And I, I guess I did save at the moonlight save tablet. I thought I did, but I don't think I did anything new. Not much irreversible stuff. You just happened on an ice block thing. And the whip in short succession, yeah. Like, I don't think I lost any progress by coming back here. I already had the, um, the first switch. I have nothing to draw. Hi, Redtail, welcome in. Uh, it resets when you leave the room. Okay. I guess I would have figured that out eventually. Bye, Flare. Well, I didn't use the whip fast enough. We're going the slow way. We're going the way that uses weights. 
And we'll find out very quickly if I need to redo, um... Redo the first switch, which I might, which is fine. I don't think I did anything else. Okay, relatively quickly, because I have to walk all the way up. So why wouldn't I have just used this warp? I don't know. Because there's a lot to think about. That's why. Okay, so I have to do it again, which means I have to go in from the bottom, which I was going to do anyways. What does this have to do with Mulan? Um, very little. Other than, uh... <laughs> name similarity, I'm afraid. Jump down. Oh. Okay. That's a phenomenal trap for sure. We were getting there. I was going to come back here. Your player character takes his hat off at the end and reveals he was a Chinese girl all along. When will my reflection show? This is La Meza singing. Maybe, maybe they're all in the moon gazing pit. Phenomenal trap. Four hands. <laughs> Whee! Dancing feet. This wall looked at me funny, but it wasn't phenomenally funny. <laughs> I found a phenomenal trap. These look like dancing feet to me. Or maybe faces of the highest rank. It's hard to say. Or maybe neither. Bye, fairy. Wait, don't tell me yet. Nope, I have no idea what that one was. Is this thing on the wall dancing? It certainly doesn't look like the face of the highest rank. Enter and exit the room a few times? Whoa! How are you supposed to notice that? It's so subtle. <gasps> Ugh. That's so cute. It's a silly Easter egg. That's very silly. We're speedrunning the white spots. We gotta find one more. I never, never noticed him do that. I just saw the one image and thought he's a dude. Never really properly, never properly looked again. I should have read. I should have gone up to look at the switches. Well, it shouldn't matter if I look at the switches one at a time because we're gonna we're gonna open them closest to farthest. I never noticed him do that before. I just saw one image and thought he's a dude and never looked again properly. I'm surprised. A little surprised I didn't try to do the hand scanner. I think I got 
complacent because I've tried to hand scan so many of these hands. Pun not intended, whatever. Coming out of the walls and these like weird things coming out of the walls and none of them do anything. So I had given up. Shame on me. All right, now we gotta find the face of the highest rank. I forget what's down here. I really don't want to fall if I don't know what that is. Mm, we're gonna do it anyway. Oh yeah, I know what's down here. Stretch break, no! I've seen comments saying they started this whole puzzle accidentally scanning things, so it was neat to see it puzzled out first. It took me a minute, but the four hands were significant enough for me to try d things in that spot, but I don't know. It was it was a, it was kind of a crapshoot. I didn't know if it was going to work. I just wanted to try to finish this before our next break, but maybe I need the break to power my brain to finish it off. You can't hurt me! Oh, yes you can if I run into you. What about this seal? Should I go stand in front of the wall seal again? Oh my god. What does this say? Search out the place they point towards. That's what we're trying to do. Oh. I don't remember this. That you get locked if you fall down there. That's funny. The last time I fall down here, fell down here, I had already opened this door. <sighs> when you were asking, is it like a puzzle or do I need to find the right place? That's not a good question. <laughs> because there's things... It To me... And then we'll take our break. In my head, this is a puzzle that like... I need to go back and read my notes and do some deciphering. And then it happens that when I do that deciphering, I need to find the right place. But like, to me, this is very much a read your notes and solve the puzzle thing. Not just like a, like when I had, when I had found um, the Ankh in the Mausoleum of the Giants, all I needed to go do was go back to the place where the Ankh had appeared and I hadn't done that yet. So that was more of like a, Jen, you don't realize that this is open to you now that you have this ability. Trav, hi. Trav, your timing is clockwork. You come in exactly at our three hour mark stretch break. It's a, it's imp incredible, impeccable. Happy Thursday, it's good to see you. Uh, some players notice the BGM here sounds like Thriller. They made the dancing man look like Michael Jackson, aww. Do I hear it? I don't know. I'd love to hear the two, like, mash together. Llama, hi. Alright, dance break. Dancing feet, dancing man. Stretch break. And I'll be right back. I've been lurking. Thanks for the lurk. I'm gonna turn off the ad timer, because I'm gonna use this as a quick, um bathroom break. Okay, y'all are the best. I'm starting to feel like all the clues are in the lower section. Um, but that's just a hunch. Look at those switches. 
Okay, I understand now why I need to map this out. It hadn't fully formed in my brain, but now it's fully formed. Okay. So this one goes to chest number two. Two, two. This one, I don't know where it goes yet. This one, I don't know where it goes yet, and we don't have the fourth one. It's a catchy song, but so are all of them. They really are. I've tried to scan every face. But there, I'm missing, I'm missing a face. There's something that I'm missing. Spy Chrissy Katie emote? Is that the whooper? It's really cute. Someone's streaming Raw Danger. I haven't thought about the crusty old chestnut in years. What is Raw Danger? So many weights. Oh, I don't want that. I want to go down here. It's the robot? Oh, Bimo? Bimo I got from BTTV. And it's like, you know who Bimo is. I'm missing something. Yeah, okay. Bimo. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I have the Bimo uh, overlay thing pop up on this screen. I'll fix it later. It was survival horror without the horror. You got to a new human constructed island and an earthquake hits and you have to puzzle and explore your way out. Huh. This one, this is cute. Oh, okay. I just missed it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll stick to trying to figure out this puzzle. Oh, this is the face of the highest rank, but I keep dying trying to get up there. These skeletons have the most health of any skeleton in the entire game. No, 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 no. Where are my shuriken? <laughs> Alright, I got it. <laughs> -la 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 -la. We'll take a trip to the bone pit. Where's my shield? Use you to protect me against the spikes. Very rude skeletons. It's okay, we will persevere. No bonds about it. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you. All right, so the other one is right above this one. So all I know is which one to do second. Let's save. Although I did just use a weight. I wasted a weight. We're always wasting weights. I only have 55 coins. Is it weird if I go back to the village right now and get coin or get weights? I don't think I need to. Let's overrate this save. As long as I have this one, I should be fine. I only need six to work it out. I'll get- I'll get them after this. No, I have- wait. 
It's not weird because I need them for each of those switches. The weights thing just does not register for me the way that it should. I'm sure for everybody. You're thinking, oh, all I need to do is push these switches. Yeah, Jen, each of those switches requires a weight. <sighs> I'll get the hang of this eventually. It's only day 14. I'm just warming up. This is still the tutorial. I don't want any of these bats to knock me down while they're, we're in the midst of problem solving. Do you think that... Do you think that I have any clues somewhere of what order to do these in? Or is it just purely process of elimination? Hmm, I don't know. Alright. This is three. And this is four. Cool. I have seven weights left. Does it change every time? Well, if it does, I got lucky and those two matched what I did the last time I came through, so we're gonna hope that it doesn't change every time. That would be pretty rude. Wait, hang on. Okay. I don't- I don't want this bat to interrupt my process. Okay. Woo -loo -loo -loo! Gave me a banana! Oh, it's the fruit of Eden. <laughs> This is the last empty save file? I'm just gonna save over it, it's fine. Life before and after the banana. Your reward, potassium! <laughs> I never thought I would love that noise so, so much. To think I almost didn't get it. I almost never got the shell horn. Do I have enough weights to get to it? To Eden? I might not. I think I need at least one more. Maybe two more. I also can't get this bug. Fifteen should be enough, you would think. The good thing is that I can overwrite a bunch of the early ones, because I forget what they're even saving for. Oh my gosh, I did need two. Happened because of the item I have. Yeah, we got this shell horn like the second day. And it's so weird when this room loads. When I solve puzzles, the, sh the shell horn makes that noise, yeah. Zelda style puzzle solve sound, but only if you have the correct item. I love the music in here. Oh. Oh. Alright, let's go buy more weights. That was just one short. Now it's extra loud. Dun, 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 dun. 
Spending all my money. Should we save again? Yeah. Spend all your money on weights. You know... <laughs> I'm sure I don't need cash for anything else. What if what if all we do the rest of the stream is just grind for money? Grind for cash. Hi fishies, welcome in. We did something. Let me show you. Not getting the sound would make the game so much harder. So often the game's like, a thing happened, I guess, and you would never know. There's so many things that happen off screen. And you would never know. This is why I turned up the music. It's all so good, though. All right, I'm gonna press the button. Aww. It was all an illusion. There's still usually quiet clicks and thunks. Yes, you still hear like something associated with something, but it's a lot more subtle than the noise. Hi, Chaos. How are you? Now it's a horror game. C congrats on the original sin. I do have a um. I do have a save before this. So, well, obviously, but I could keep, like, one before and one after. The least surprising surprise the games tried to spring on you. How many times was I like, wow, I really like this area. It's so peaceful. Oh my god, I love it so much. Okay. Eden. Psych. Now it makes a lot more sense, though, why Eden and Gate of Guidance have the same symbol but flipped. Because Eden and Gate of Guidance was like, well, oh, this seems kind of odd, but whatever. The first area you find, maybe the last area you find, I don't know. Gate of Guidance, Gate of Illusion, that seems more likely. The music is great. I'm gonna turn it back down, but <laughs> the music is great. Just needs to be quieter. What, Jen? <laughs> you make no sense. All right. Now what? Snakes. Ooh, this is this says something different now. Thanks for the hydrate. The tutorial zone, and it's true opposite a cursed room full of switches, yep. Hydrate, everybody hydrate. Trust me, those of us who know this game were over here like she likes Eden, yep. <laughs> I like it. They took it away from me. Okay. Illusion. Paradise of the eternally lost. It was called Eden in times past. Now it is an accursed site of war where vengeful spirits are lost wandering the paths of life. Those who enter Eden do not make light of this place.
vengeful spirits. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome in. Our lost wandering paths of life. Those this is long. <laughs> Enter. Do not make light of this place. Perfect. Beautiful. So many notes. And snakes. Three hits for those, one hit for the snakes. And now I get to map! This is horrifying. The game reassuringly suggesting the rest of the game so far has been a walk in the park. Yeah, really. What are they trying to do to me? So this room- actually, let me go back for one second, maybe. This room had, like, a million switches. Five. Maybe five. Not a million. But from what I can tell, I can't get up to the top row yet, so... Those remind me of the flea-looking things in Gate of Guidance. Are there any eyeballs? Simply wandering will not lessen the illusion. Courage will grant thy wish, the courage to jump into the illusion. The courage to search on bended knee for a single fallen item. La Milana needs to touch grass. They got me writing novels now. Jump into the illusion. Courage. To search on bended knee for a single fallen item. Okay. Whatever you say. What's going on with this door? This is like shimmery. See that? I can't jump off here. I want the enemy to come back so that it hurts me on the well, if it hurts you on the ladder, you fall directly down, so never mind. forgetting to draw things until after I leave the room. This has a couple of different switches in here. It says to, to be courageous, but so far I don't have access to half of the things. This room has a door up at the top, like a little gate. Kind of like a weird looking block. It has a couple of staircases. Here's a switch. And a bunch of ghosts. Hmm. Email. Warp and warp. It's me. You think there's nothing there, then all of a sudden you find yourself on a strange path. Just the story I heard in the village, what looks like a dead end might actually warp you to another place. How strange. But then again, strange is the norm in La Mulana. Welcome to La Milana. I'm gonna turn this down again. Because I feel like I am yelling. Um, yeah, we've seen those warps in 
Temple of Moonlight. This is blank. Supposedly. Oh my god. Screenshot. One fool believed in his foolishness that he was a wise man. The fool flaunted his shallow wisdom and made decisions with a narrow mind. He proceeded to the right without hesitation. Another fool possessed wisdom, but his knowledge led him to believe he was a fool. A fool who smothers himself without first considering the situation. He went with the flow and proceeded to the left. One can only hope that a true wise man stands here now. You like the yelling? <laughs> I guess it's not really yelling, but... I mean, that other thing, I generally like to go with the flow, but that other thing did talk about courage. Courage to jump into the illusion. I don't know if it's referring to this. A true wise guy, eh? <laughs> a true wise man closes the game and begins composing a series of angry tweets at the developer. Indeed. I'm, what if I choose neither? All the presents are gone. I was a fool. Oops, wait. I'm not doing so good. Yeah, the ability to continue mapping. That's what I like. I forgot to put... I'm not mapping very well, though. There's a door here. Oh, shoot. There was a switch here, but it's just a dumb... single-use switch. I don't know. I guess I'll keep it on my map. I was like, why is the switch gone? And then there's a bunch of open chests. And a switch for a door. I don't know. Twitch's been really buggy lately. Chat decided to stop updating, had to reload. Oh, weird. Twitch has been kind of buggy, yeah. It's been better for me today, but... Tuesday it was pretty bad. And there's one yes. mega chest yes. in the middle. Yes. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome in. Okay, and then some one-way doors and an exit to the reverse of Mausoleum. So, an exit to the graveyard. Is what that looks like. I could double check, but I think I'm good for now. I can't get over there this way. I can get over there by going up here. Oh, oh, oh no. Wait. <laughs> I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. I'm trying to get my shield. All right, good enough. So one way exit to graveyard if I want. There's also a ladder up here. Mm, that's like my only option if I don't choose the left or right thing. I kind of want to, I kind of want to go with this way and confirm it. 
that a waste of my time and effort? I mean, it's not a waste, but the weights are so expensive. Wait a second! There's an upside down door in this room. Rude. I just wanted to show the Ankh jewel. I couldn't get to my shield. I just kept pushing the button for this. <laughs> I really like the Ankh jewels. They're very pretty. Hey, do you want to see my shiny red rock? Why is that door upside down? Oh, Alright, we're going through. I want to know where this is. Is this the... Were these... Weren't these... Hmm, this was an Eden entrance that had the teardrop thing. But do I still have a save where I haven't turned, I do still have a save where I haven't turned Eden into the Gate of Illusions yet, right? I haven't done a hard save since walking around the Gate of Illusions. No, because there hasn't been a save tablet in there. Problem is composing angry tweets about the game for the usual things at Naramura would probably result in Thank you for playing and enjoying my game. Yeah. There was a giant banana. Yeah. So... Um, I want to go this way. I want to save. I didn't do a sixth one yet? Okay, I'll do a sixth one. This is confusing. Buy some more weeds. Hello. I'm your best customer. What's the quickest way for me to get back to that ladder? I think the save is very quick. Oh yeah, look, I drew the little fruit question mark. I always think the kids are gonna damage me. The first day I just kept whipping, using my whip on the villagers because I thought they were enemies. Or, like, you just get that instinct of, like, oh no, there's something nearby. Don't take that out of context, but it was stressful. Oh, to get over there, I have to fall all the way down, though. Forget that. I do think it sets you up a little bit when you first warp somewhere if you press the down arrow it immediately tells you the linked the the complementary map but then once you scroll away from the place that you're in it doesn't show you that anymore if that makes sense Can't stop thinking about making a note that just says fruit. <laughs> it was because we had already read the clue that was like something, something, fruit, something, something, fruit. You know? <laughs> I don't know if this game is healthy for me.
I gotta open up Obsidian. Hang on. The f wait, what does it say? A paradise deep in the fog. Clear the fog and you will be surrounded by more happiness. Head for the Tree of Eden with fruit of paradise in hand. That's- an and then it talks about an illusion. Where does it talk about an illusion? Oops. The illusion has no end. The key to eternity rests within. Interesting. This game isn't healthy for anyone. I need to buy post-its and put some of my favorite two short notes. Yes! Uh, a demon with a weapon brings forth the illusion. A demon that endlessly consumes life. Okay. Interesting. The out of context. I, like, what is that? Um, oops, oops, oops. Don't get knocked back. Oh my god. That could be a Twitter account if Twitter still supported API stuff. Wait, what am I doing? This is gonna still be the thing. I just made a new save. So now we're gonna quit out. I'm trying to do too many things at once. It could be a Twitter thing of like, La Mulana without context. Now we're gonna go back to this one. Now we're gonna go and do what I just did. Hi Zebu, you're doing a great job holding up the land. This is, I don't know if I did this right. I might have completely messed this up. We're about to find out. And by this, meaning returning to this door before the area has changed into not Eden. That's all I'm trying to do. I want to put the fruit, the little fruit in the little place where the fruit goes. But I think it's gonna be the same result as bringing the fruit to the tree. Hey, hey, none of that. What does this say? Gold shaped, oops. Gold shaped into fruit said to be needed in entering paradise. So we can come down here. But you can't open it from this side. It's just showing you that you need to bring the fruit to the tree. Right? Safe word? I wanted to science it out first. I know I could have just asked. Okay, thank you. We love science. So now... We're gonna buy more weights. I think that the switch appears at the tree is annoying wrinkle in the plan. But they do tell you to bring it to the tree. There's two trees though, so you have to like check both. Which is annoying. I'll give you that. Um... So we're gonna keep 2407.16. I'm gonna keep that save file. I guess. I don't know. Have 
fruit still Eden. It just seems like a significant spot. So many bats! The timeline where Eden was never problematic and nobody had to worry about it and I still really liked the music. I wonder if it's fewer waits to get in from the graveyard side. Alright. So yeah, uh, here we are. <laughs> Oops. Hi, Tunes. Whip beats rock. Everything I was taught as a kid was a lie. Whip beats everything. In this game, you want the whip. You don't want the fire-breathing dragons. They kind of look like dinosaurs. So if I want to map out the best way, which way to come back through here. Yeah. Trav is our newest mod. Um, I need to pay attention. Oh, this is the graveyard map. This is what I want. I need to pay even closer attention to my mapping. I should make even bigger squares for each room for this area. There's a one-way path. This upper switch, this little switch, is if I want to read the tablet. I think, if that goes with that door, but that's what it looks like. The lower switch, I don't know what it's- oh, probably opens the blue? Maybe they're reversed, though. What if they don't do what you think they're gonna do? And the blue thing, it looks like it doesn't even go anywhere. But there's another door that looks like it has a ghost floating around it. And I don't even know how to get into that room anyway. Weird. Illusions! It did talk about warping portals. Dead ends that aren't really dead ends. And sometimes the ghosts walk through walls. But so far I feel like I haven't been confronted with one of these doors to try out on my own. Maybe if I were to pick a left or right path then I would be confronted with such a choice. This room again. I think it is fewer weights if I come in from the graveyard side. Good to know. Alright, I have to make a choice. If I go left, I can get to that chest, but it probably won't be open. And that's it. And then a broken tablet and a one-way door.
Oh, and a button to maybe open up the wall there. And maybe a portal? No. This is so weird. I'm gonna follow that ghost. Nope. I don't think you're supposed to- I think you're just supposed to choose and- and do one in the spirit of courage, but I'm not taking that path by trying to map this out. I have six weights left. It doesn't look like I can get to anything. It doesn't look like I can get to anything. And if I keep going back and forth like this, I'm gonna run out of weights just opening this one door. It's very funny. I'm going down here one more time. I feel like the left guarantees me access to a broken tablet and that's about it. An enclosed treasure chest. But I don't have any reason to believe like once I make a choice I can't come back and make this other choice later. And we do have a save file. Come on. Alright, let's see what happens. It looks about the same as it did before. Uh, it's blank. I cannot resist the juicy lore tablets, even if they're the broken ones. Are you a portal? Weird. Not a portal, but another closed chest. This is a portal too on the other side of it, it looks like. Or an illusion. How do you get up there? You're jumping up through the ceiling. I wanna do that. I'm gonna sneeze again. The worst feeling. He's got hacks, yeah. Well, that was certainly interesting. I could choose either one of these to go in. I'm gonna choose this one. 
They're the same, okay. I'm gonna go to sleep now. Thanks for the lore vibes. Have a good sleep. Thank you, Llama. We'll see you real soon. Alright, now I guess I'll go the other way. very mean of them to put spikes right there. What if the spikes are an illusion? No, 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 no. Oh, it didn't end up mattering. I gotta fall down here anyways. I can't remember if there's spikes down here too. Cross of light. Best of luck, thank you. It's been good today. I feel a little stuck here, but we opened it. We opened a new area. Sort of. I'm confused. I wonder if I need something else to do more stuff here. Curious. Confusion? No, that's the freeware version of this area. Yeah. I can only imagine. What if you- what if the illusion is you can go back through the one-way doors? Okay. I don't know. It's fine. But I'm not sure what to do. Let's go take a trip to the puddle. The lack of weights is stressing me out. And the lack of money and that area is just stressful I miss the old Eden why did Eden have to go and change I need to sell a weight generator yeah to spring in the sky. <laughs> Let's go hang out. There's a door in here we never figured out. Did I just not break this one wall enough times? I've been known to do that, that's for sure. cool tricks like this now. I 
I don't know. I am not giving up on Eden, but I needed a break. I want to solve some of the, like, smaller, weird anomaly puzzles that I haven't been able to get to yet, and I just don't even know where to start. And table, welcome in. How's it going? Oops. No! Oh my god, I keep mistiming the whip there. I did not mean to grab the wall there. Oh, you can't double jump out of the water. That's infuriating. We're going back to places that I've previously forgotten about, I guess. Is it the ceiling in here? There's water seeping through the cracks. And I've never been able to figure it out. Oh, interesting. You can grab the wall inside the staircase. That's fun. Is there anything else we didn't do in here? Yes. We haven't found the mirror of this. Oh, I said maybe I was gonna go back to the Tower of Ruin. The only thing doing that, the only thing that would do would be to see if my double jump gets me up above that one boss area yet. It might, maybe, I don't know. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do that after break. Because I really don't think there's much else to do in Spring in the Sky, except for, I guess we didn't ever find an Ankh here? We didn't ever fight a boss, and then that weird mysterious door. Oh, the Springs Fairy is good for farming. That's a good point. We should we could do that for a little bit. Or I could keep that in mind for off stream if we don't want to farm on stream. What 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 would you all rather do? Tower of Ruin? Is that a lost cause for me to go try to climb up this room again? This is where that one mini boss it's not even a mini boss, it's just like a tougher enemy. Or farm money. <laughs> All right, let me know when we get back from stretch break. My question is, my safe word question is, is it worth it to go back to Tower of Ruin? Specifically with the double jump. Does that get me access to this room? Welcome back. I don't think I've seen a save tablet there. No, I've never beaten that boss. I could try. I don't think I've ever gone back to, um... Oh, no, optimal farming strats. Nice. I've never been back with the, the new chain whip.
Okay, let's go back there. That just sounds more exciting than farming. Can teach you optimal farming. Maybe we can try it, and then if I don't like the boss fight, then we do farming. I don't know. We we have a few things we can do before I run out of steam for today. I can't remember what might have been useful or relevant, but I think scouting out little bits of unfinished business is all kinds of productive. Okay. Hi, Pierce. How are you? Welcome in. How's it going? Oh, I forgot to jump. I haven't messed that up in so long. It's okay. We're going to be watching... I think we're going to be watching Picard after stream today. If anybody wants to watch the new episode who hasn't seen it yet. I'm excited. I just need a brief reference to my graveyard map to figure out where Tower of Ruin is. Tower of Ruin is all the way down here. Oh, but that's fine. I don't have to use a weight. I just need to jump, like, just fall. And then do that one really awful room. I'm getting a little beat up. It's fine. It's going well. How's La Mulan? I hope it's getting easier. Yeah, it's uh, definitely easier than when you raided. Oh my goodness. That was just the funniest timing of people coming in and being like, I really hate my life right now, but welcome. <laughs> it's good. That was so worth it, too. That ended up being a really cool string of events. Okay, Tower of Ruin is the reverse of Inferno. Well, reverse, mirror, whatever. I don't know what anything is. I don't know what anything means. We have double jump now, so we have easier access to some of this stuff. Oh, I can break those. My biggest complaint of this game, not being able to tell what's a breakable <laughs> money box and what... Oh. And not being able to get all the cash. Okay. Right, I remember this. I don't trust this thing. We're swimming in lava. I'm going the long way. What's over here? Kind and mischievous spirit, a lonely mischievous spirit. She means no harm with her mischief, no damage done by unintentional mischief. Surprisingly not too painful. It's not too bad. Solution is try to break everything. Raids, yeah, raids are that way. Just always unexpected, always welcome. But they have a funny way sometimes. Okay, this is the thing about the virtual wise man. Oh, wise man. Now we've seen wise man here and in... The illusion. Interesting. The ice cape is what allows me to swim in lava, yeah. I don't think there's anything else to that room. But I could be wrong. Uh, I also don't think I saved before this encounter. Uh, but, uh, it's fine. Lots of money? Everybody's dropping lots of money. Lava or boiling tomato soup? Who can say? Okay, bye! Huh? Yay, that was totally worth it. Look at that cute little bat dog. 
Come here. All right, we're cruising. Let's do this. When I've been watching some of these VODs or like making the highlights, it's very funny to me the times when the pencil is like, whoa, look how long this pencil is. Look at this perspective. <laughs> This is a new name, Skanda. A large clay doll. The one who holds the golden key, which soars through the skies. You need all the pencil for the amount of notes and maps, yeah. Camera angle makes it look comically big. It just, it's like kind of normal like this, like this, and then, oh my god. <laughs> Remember the large mechanical pencils from Scholastic? Yeah. Or the stackable ones with the like lead that you would move to the bottom. It had bad erasers. Or like the non-mechanical ones that were just like jumbo Ticonderogas. So much pencil nostalgia. No. Oh. What? I have to jump through there? This looks scary. And you just fall right into the lava. Oops. Alright, we're going this way again. Maybe I have to fight the enemy after all. I mean, I know I do eventually. Ugh. <laughs> I don't like the eyeballs. Nope. I wonder what's up in that upper... What's in the upper left-hand corner? It doesn't seem like there's anywhere else to go from here. There's a switch in this room. But that's about it. Ooh! I'm afraid to do anything because the eyeball is going to get me. No. I'm about to warp out of here. We'll try again. Hi, Metal Spring. Thanks for the hello. Welcome in. That was a very meager attempt. Mostly me getting shocked by eyeballs. Time to put clean sheets on the bed. Nice! What's the best feeling when you make a fresh bed? Okay, how did I get to that area? I went through the mausoleum, right? Yeah. Oh my god. No! The spikes do 30 damage. And they're always where you least expect they're gonna be. Nice. No. 
No. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> Clean sheets. Metal Spring, how was your Thursday? <laughs> These definitely look... They look like tardigrades. But with even less of a face, if that's even possible. <laughs> Thank you. I forgot about the spikes again. The spikes are annihilating me. <sighs> I hate this room. No! Oh my god. Humans. High number. There's so many. Here's my map cam. My map and notes cam. We have like several pages of graph paper notes. If you're into that type of thing. I guess we're just gonna swim over again. No, I grabbed the side of the wall. Oh my god. La Mesa is a little bit of a nightmare himself. All right, we're gonna go fight this boss. We only have 139 health, which is, you know, not only 139, but we could have had 224 if I was more careful. Nothing I've seen about the game. Scream was relaxing. I know, I put that in the title of all my streams because I feel like that's just my goal and my vibes, but then we play games like this, so I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I'm just making it up as I go. I do worry about this boss because every time I try to use my whip where are these it bounces off for this whole section until now but then when I use my whip I like hit an accidental artifact it has such a short window where you can damage it No, I fell. That was terrible. Nobody said you had to leave the village. They had huts, they had warm puddle. What else are you looking for? True. How are you supposed to make any progress here? Mazes, what happened if you slack off in ninja training? Oh yeah, we have ninja blood or something, supposedly. I don't believe it for a second. This is sparkly. Oh my goodness. Whoa. There's a lot happening in this room. There's six of these tablety looking things. I'm off, gotta start cooking dinner. Have fun, rest the stream, sending good vibe for anyone who needs it. Thank you, Kit. Enjoy dinner. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We'll see you soon. I love the face on the skeleton where you paused him. <laughs> okay, let me draw this. This is more tower stuff. So we've got one up here that looks like... Kind of like a Y and then an X, kind of. Then we've got one over here. Thanks for the love. 
Both of them are serving face. The skeletons make cute faces. When they're not attacking me. This one is like this. And then a little backward C shape. This one. Oh, this is... I'm getting close to the place in the notebook where there's a pocket, so that part is bumpy, so I'm gonna have to unfold it to right here. This one is three dashes on top. This, and then another C shape. This one is like a base clef, and then like a V. This one is a Nike check and a straight line. This one is the number five with a squiggle, kind of. Okay, fun. It reminds me of these. Do any of these look like this one? No, not particularly. Try no, I was trying to jump over it, but I keep hitting my head because it's right there. And you can stand on these. Am I supposed to have learned how to count at this point? Oh wait, this is another one? Yeah, but this still doesn't remind me of any of the ones I'm seeing here. Maybe turned on its side or something? I don't know. I don't see it. Doesn't, they don't look like any of the areas. It's a totally different script from what I've seen. Maybe the top left one maybe reminds me of one of the philosophers, but that's a stretch. This is the wisdom symbol. But I don't think with the wisdom symbol it crosses through ever, but maybe it's like someone else's writing. And it's a little rough around the edges, like mine. Okay, gotta look through the map stack real quick. Hang on. Enjoy paper flipping ASMR momentarily. This is me guessing about numbers, but these don't look like any of these symbols either. Just vibing to paper sounds. <laughs> Whoa, look how much bigger the notebook looks now. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> this is a very serious matter. Does this one sparkle? Does this sparkle? Does this sparkle? I 
asking the very important questions. Does it sparkle? Okay, what happens when I attack these blocks? Does this sparkle joy? Okay, so if I do this one, the floor opens. I think I hear Duncan, Duncan jumping around. What happens if I break two? Nothing. Does this reset? No. Reset, go back. When was the last time I saved? The only thing I've done since the last save is break this one chunk of wall. Goodbye. Oh, except I don't remember if it was a quick save. So I should do con continue for a quick save, right? Yeah. And now let's also do a not quick save. Movie Sparkle? There's a movie called Sparkle? Shiny teeth that sparkle just like stars in space? Wait, what? <laughs> What time is it? Okay, we've got a little bit of time. I'm hitting the spikes. I thought I was hitting the fluff. No one saw anything. There's a movie called Sparkle with Jordan Sparks and Whitney Houston. Hmm. I have not heard of that. It's that time in the stream when I do the same thing like three times and think, oh, this time I won't face plant. It's not gonna happen. Nothing was seen. Exactly. God. There are some places. Do you. Oh. Do you ever get, like, an additional type of fast travel where you can just pick the room you want to go to? Because some of these walks, I am so over it. <laughs> some of these walks of shame, I don't want to repeat over and over again. Imagine that. Shiny teeth from Sparkle. Oh, from Fairly Odd Parents. Okay. Not familiar with that that part of the show. I've I don't know if I've ever seen a full episode of Fairly Odd Parents. Maybe one. It's called watching the VOD and skipping over the walking bits. I was gonna ask that earlier, like how is VOD watching for this game? Because I I'm already I think the full VODs are going to go on my VOD channel, which makes sense. But I'm having nightmares about editing any piece of La Mulana down because it's like so non-linear. And everything could be a question that somebody has about like when does she find, you know, this switch. And the two switches for one item are separated like six days apart. It's, it's, it, gi it just gives me stress just thinking about, just thinking about it. Oops. No, I meant to do this. Oh my god! We're swimming. When am I gonna get the save tablet for this area? For the tower? Found all the Eden switches on the same day. I... Okay, yeah. I did. I have questions about... Hello? Oh my god. I have questions about some other switches I found a long time ago that I thought were Eden switches and they didn't end up being, but I guess now is not the time to ask that. It's easy to skip over them. Oh yeah, I definitely- sorry, I will clarify. I'm gonna keep the full VODs 
unedited and put them on my VOD channel. But I would like to do some kind of like a highlight video or like, you know, a meme like Welcome to La Mulana video of a bunch of cuts of some of my funnier deaths. But sifting through this playthrough feels very daunting. Folks that are going to look for individual triggers are going to know how to spot check. Okay, cool. Cool. Good to know. Uh, editing would be thankless task and people watching are going to skip. Okay, well then. I won't stress so much. I would love to have like a funny highlight reel to showcase the playthrough in case people want to are thinking like, oh, is this one that I want to watch? And they can see like 10 minutes of me reacting to deaths or something and go, yeah, yeah, she seems like she'd be fun to watch. I'll check this out. You know? Just, just I frame through there. Okay, cool. Oh, I missed, I missed that one. Is this one gonna be a process of elimination thing? <sighs> Probably. No. I wonder if it's like in a certain order too. Okay, I have a question. Because we've done two of six, and I don't want to make that run six times. Do I have this in my notes somewhere already? I guess you can't... Something about following Moo. Maybe it's about Moo, the nameless one. Is some additional outside language research required for this? I didn't say- I- safe word? <laughs> what am I even asking? <sighs> Isn't trial and error, but it can be brute forced. Define outside language- Isn't there, um... There's a Japanese character for the sound moo, for the phoneme, right? In the interest of walkback sex, the room resets, but not. Oh, okay, thank you, Chaos. That's helpful. It's not in Japanese. I mean, that's a stretch, but I was thinking of it, so I, th I thought I would ask. Thank you. Hi, Ashy. How are you? Welcome in. We've got a notebook and everything. We've got a notebook. We've got graph paper maps. We've got stress levels. Happy Thursday. <laughs> I feel like I keep showing off this one because it's the color-coded one. The area I'm in right now is much less defined. I love the maps so much. Thank you. They've been fun to draw. So I can reset this by falling and walking around again. Safe word? Felt in the spirit of safe word. Yeah, you're good. Thank you, Chaos. Because now, now I'm going to safe word... If it's not the room to the left, it's two rooms to the left. Okay. Thank you. I was prepared to reset every time, but after that last walk back here, I was like, no, I'm not. I'm not prepared for that anymore. Oh, and we got a generous health reset. Wow. It's kind of nice that the, th the Thunderbird, is this called the Thunderbird? respawns right here in front of me. Like, this is a much more convenient place. Well, it would be much more convenient if I had enough money for the ammo for bullets. Anyways, sorry. We're rambly. And it can be... Imaginatively named, yeah. It can be brute force. Wait, what What was the note again? 
One of the purest, smartest puzzles in the game. Also, I sucked at it. I don't want to brute force it if I can puzzle it. Helpful to know the deep tongue. It's not trial and error. I don't think anything... It doesn't make sense that something would be purely trial and error. It does make me want to quite to ask about the switches and the boxes for Eden, though, because I trial and errored that, and maybe there is there's another way to do it. Well, it's worth a shot, but I, I don't know what, um, I'm formulating my question, which is, do I even have what I need to attempt a puzzle? Because right now I know I can brute force it. But I'm like, I don't want to miss out on a juicy puzzle. I love juicy puzzles. I don't know about the boxes. I feel open them in the right order was telling to work it out. Don't know if it get, if it got more specific. Okay. Just yes or no only, safe word, do I have, like, any bits of information to solve this without brute forcing it? I do. Okay, cool. Let me do some research. <laughs> oh, this gets complicated. Okay, so we're in the tower. We're in the Tower of Ruin. Water to power the tower. And the technology. Okay, interesting, interesting. This is like the steam room of La Mulana for steam powered towers. It's not a yes or no, I failed. So <laughs> please. Um. Why did I open this? To look at these. Glyph reader, emailer, text memory, which I haven't used, map, guild, death village, Mirai. Okay. But I can't hand scan them. Please. Please. I'm doing important research. Oh my god, I almost broke that block though. Whoopsies. Leave me alone. <laughs> it's either gonna be... The order I break them, or which one to break, or what to break them with. I thought my internet was about to go out and weirdly on the edge of my seat. Oh my gosh. I'm not trying to stress anybody out. I know what it is. It's the serpent staff. Although I gotta be careful with this thing because I think it probably is a weapon similar to how the Ankh jewel is a weapon. Something about words and the virtual wise man and the mural it's making me laugh because it's like the epitome of nothing really happening on stream but it's all going on I really don't have very many notes about the tower of ruin
I have a lot of notes about the Chamber of Extinction, and we haven't been back there in forever. Cog of the Soul. Stone Spriggan. Take the Dragon Bone in hand. That's all stuff from Chamber of Extinction. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'm just rereading this stuff, which is, um, which is Chamber of Extinction stuff. Stuff about darkness, stuff about the guardians of the gates of hell. Solve the riddle of the god of light in the chamber of birth. I kind of forgot about that, but that's not for this, I don't think. Be patient, don't be hasty. Notes about the numbers, but no drawings of the numbers. Moo is the nameless one who rises to the sky. It's not this, is it? Like there's one in the middle that doesn't have a name on it. The nameless block. We have notes about Ruby and Sapphire. We have notes about Underworld Palace. The illusion has no end. The key to eternity rests within. That's not for this area either. Tojin emits countless beam of lights. Those without a white shimmer will not survive. Money can buy the real thing. Meeting of man and woman. I wish it was easier to jump onto these. Oh, you can't stand on the top ones anyway. So dusty. Everything is so dusty. Hmm. Great bird, give us mercy. Will crushing the hand bring us mercy? Here's my Tower of Ruin notes. Follow the name that means unnamed. No damage done by unintentional mischief. There was a race that recorded their knowledge on the walls. This, this knowledge will operate in a mechanical box as a virtual wise man. It shall awaken should a wise man read the mural. What mural? There's not really a mural in this room to read. Hmm. That feels like the answer, but not. And then I have some other things, but Water will provide the power for the tower to soar the skies. Warp and warp. Feather, show me anything rare. Secrets. Items are better used than not. Grapple claw. Hmm. 
I'm gonna grapple off of all of them. Oops. <laughs> Nothing told me to do that, but... It was fun. for stream today. Um, what about the clue about using my weapon to the left and then using my weapon to the right? Thanks for stream. Best of luck. Thank you, Trav. Have a good one. Take care. Uh, and it's in this game. La <laughs> Mulana. It's somewhere in this game, right? The, the, this thing feels absolutely the closest. Literally, a race has recorded their knowledge on the walls right here before my very eyes. And operates in a mechanical box makes me think of the laptop. Or like, the hand scanner. I don't have too many mechanical boxes. Or like software. Turn off the reader. That's dangerous. Oh, the reader has a symbol on it. That's cool. You can let us stew while you do other things or ask to hear about the tablet that kicks it off if you want narrowing a little. Mm, yeah, I might let it stew. It just feels too good to let slip by by brute forcing it. Let's go fight. Let's go fight again. It is organically doable, and maybe if you finish off other clues first, you can settle things more easily. Maybe, yeah. It's so tough to know what clue ended up being which thing. Because <laughs> it never gives you full confirmation of like, yes, that lore tablet was that thing. No, don't knock me off. What the heck? Oh, I was so close. Okay, good, 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 good. That just opened magically. Hey, it's a philosopher symbol. Okay, cool. I like this plan. Such a weak babby, yeah. 
this is over here. There's like a giant philosopher cube. I'm gonna draw a bigger version because that's way too tiny. Okay, and a lore tablet and an eyeball and some treasure. Thunderbird is annoying but has little health. Yeah, and and when yeah. God. Wait, is that... What am I getting hit by? Is that the only way for me to get up? Am I that stupid? Am I getting hit by steam? I think I am that stupid. Does that reset in two screens? I blame that on streamer brain. Oh no, you just come back up here. It's fine. What? I just needed to do this first? All right. Don't answer that. <laughs> Testing the waters, never stream a brain. Okay, okay, okay. Translation software. Has learned. Learned. 20% of ancient characters. That sounds like a mechanical box awakening when I read things. The goddess of the mountain changes her form into the goddess that loves blood and war. Oh. To assuage her anger, thou must get down on the ground and pray. I never know how to say that word. Assuage. Assuage. Anyways. A sewage. <laughs> it's getting late. This is probably the last thing we do. The goddess of the mountain changes her form into the goddess that loves blood and war. Her anger thou must get down on the ground. And pray. That's the second place it's telling us to pray. I don't I don't know how to pray. <laughs> I never thought that would be such a big problem in this game. But it's kind of a big deal. It reminds me of sausage. Well, yeah, almost a It is an anagram for sausage, right? Mmm. I don't know, I can't rearrange letters like that without writing it down. What am I getting hit by? Okay, there's a ladder to go up, so we're gonna go up. I think it's steam. And I got a little doo -doo 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 notification. So I think there's a shop in here somewhere. A guild. Oh, cool drawing. I'm not doing my own version of that one. 
Not yet. I'm gonna get smushed. I feel like I need to do something to get this to lower and then it'll be above that. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what even got me? There's no eyeball in here. Oh yeah, there is. It's up top. That's rude. It's hidden by my money counter. Oh, we got a lot of coins back. Okay, this is the last thing we do. I need the save tablet. I'm gonna run out of health. The glowing red crucifix is a beacon that connects the seen and the unseen. It does mean something. The cross of light. Except some of them, not all of them are red. might survive if there aren't any more aren't, aren't any more eyeballs but I'm scared We're oh yes it didn't do a quick save for me behold we have to do our traditional behold everyone behold <laughs> The Tower of Ruin. <laughs> the remains of dreams destroyed, wishes not granted. Okay, I'm happy. What a place to... What a place... <laughs> to be like, yeah, yeah, this is the last thing we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phew. 